Welcome back everyone of the Sacramento Kings of my league here on NBA 2K19 where we continue the very first offseason as general manager of the Kings. Last episode was the NBA draft and today we will be doing free agency and this stuff down here. So uh, let's quickly recap the draft. The Kings of course got the second pick via the draft lottery and traded down one pick with Miami Heat to get pick three. The Kings also received a 2020 first round pick and Kelly Olenek. The Kings did trade a couple of small pieces away, too, like some second-round picks, a couple players. So, yeah, and with the third pick, they drafted R.J. Barrett out of Duke. The Kings had an additional few first-round picks where they added Kevin Porter Jr. out of USC and Charles Bassey from Western Kentucky. And in the second round, they drafted Naz Reed, as well as Sharif O'Neal and Mac McClony. So, six new rookies added to the Sacramento Kings. So we'll be looking at player options and free agency now. Don't expect the Kings to get any big names. Uh, yeah, so let's start with team options. Buddy Heald will be brought back. De'Aaron Fox will be brought back. Justin Jackson will be brought back. Harry Giles will be brought back. Svi Mikhailuk will be brought back. So everyone will be brought back who has team options to the Kings. Players who declined, Kevin Durant, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, uh, Chris Middleton, Paul Millsap, why would Paul Millsap decline that? That doesn't make sense. Oh, no, that's a team option. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Dwight Howard, uh, Julius Randle. So, yeah. Looking at qualifying offers, Amir Johnson will not be extended by the Sacramento Kings just because they don't really need him. They're not going to play him. The Kings have $41 million in cap space to spend this offseason. Clay Thompson and Jimmy Butler are getting no offers. I want to sign them so bad, but I just can't do it. So the Kings will be looking for young players like Carl Anthony Towns, but probably not Carl Anthony Towns. Probably someone not as good, I guess. So maybe players down here, maybe a Bobby Portis or a Terry Rozier. Somebody, somebody like that I could see the Kings offering a contract to. The first player the Kings will be going after is Kelly Oubre Jr., the 15th overall pick back in 2015 by the Washington Wizards. He is a restricted free agent, and the Kings will be offering him a one-year deal worth roughly about $11.6 million. The Kings will be offering another one-year deal, this time to Terry Rozier. The Kings don't really need a guard, but Terry Rozier could be an excellent six-man off the bench backing up De'Aaron Fox, and this could be a good move for Sacramento if Boston does not match him. The last player the Kings will be offering here in day one of free agency is going to be the big boy, 7'3", from Serbia. It's Boban. Marjanovic, he'll be getting a one-year deal worth roughly about $2.4 million. After day one of free agency, Kelly Oubre Jr., Terry Rozier, and Boban Marjanovic all accept their contracts. It's just a matter of if the Wizards or Celtics match the offers given to Kelly Oubre and Terry Rozier, and neither of them are matched, so, Kerry, so Kelly Oubre Jr. and Terry Rozier will be headed to the Sacramento Kings. The King. Kings already have too many players, so those are the only moves that they will be making in free agency. So Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, and Boban Marjanovic are all now members of the Sacramento Kings. So looking at player progression, Marvin Bagley is now an 81. De'Aaron Fox is an 80, so is Buddy Heald. Bogdan Bogdanovic is a 78. Harry Giles is a 77. Boban gets better, and so does Yogi Ferrell. Mo Wagner up two. Mikhail Luke goes up four. And Frank Mason gets better by one. Looking around the league, most players ended up returning to their original teams. But one of the big names who will be playing for a different team is DeMarcus Cousins, who signed a big deal with the Dallas Mavericks. So he's going to be teaming up with Dennis Smith and Luka Doncic. And DeAndre Jordan is headed to L.A. He will be returning to Los Angeles, but instead of playing for the Clippers, he will be joining LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers as they finally get that good center to play next to LeBron. Last year we had a Summer League series before our official My League with the Kings and the Kings ended up winning the championship and unfortunately they are unable to dethrone or keep their throne as they were the 18th seed which is not great and then they beat the Nets in the first round but lost to the two-seeded Lakers in the second round so that is how Summer League goes, and we are now at September 12, 2019, getting very close to the regular season. The All-Star City will not be in Los Angeles, just because it was like two years ago. So, let's see what this is. There is nothing like the fun and sun of Miami. 
So that is where the 2020 All-Star Game will be played. So LeBron gets to return to Miami. The Kings have two training camps, and the first one will be perimeter shooting for R.J. Barrett. As he is a perimeter player, the Kings would like to get his shooting up. So that's what they're doing. And the second training camp will go to point guard De'Aaron Fox. He will get offensive fundamentals, so he is also going to be a better offensive The Kings player. need to get rid of four players on their roster, and you can only put so many players in the G League. So unfortunately, Mac McClung and Sharif O'Neal will be casualties. They were both just drafted in this year's draft in the second round, but the Kings don't think they're going to develop that well. So they'll be getting a future first-round pick from the Houston Rockets, as well as Luis Montero. Montero will be bought out, so the Kings now need to clear up two more rosters. The last two casualties will be Justin Jackson and Boban Marjanovic. We'll miss you, Boban! And then Justin Jackson. The Kings had to choose someone, so they're going to choose him. He wasn't going to develop into anything special, so they are headed to OKC. For Patrick Patterson, who will be bought out, as well as a 2021 first round draft. Here's an official look at the Kings rotation to start off this season. It'll be De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald, R.J. Barrett, Marvin Bagley, and Harry Giles. Off the bench, Terry Rozier, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Kelly Oubre Jr., Yogi Ferrell, and Mo Wagner. Kevin Porter Jr. and Charles Bassey, the other two first round picks, will be put in the G League to start the season. That'll be it for this episode of the Sacramento Kings My League. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Next episode will be opening day as your Sacramento Kings will be taking on the Denver Chicken Nuggets. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm out. Have a good day. Hey, hey, man.